Welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen. I will be your host today, LFG. Here with Roger again, our contest winner. And we got Lunkers TV. Roger, you got hooked up with some new equipment. Yep. Show us what you got, first of all. Uh, favorites Defender. You got a Which Defender. A Phantom. You got a Phantom. And then the... Uh, and a Six Stick. Yeah. Three different uh, rod series from Favorite. We also got you some reels out of the collection, so... Yeah, two bait casters. Yeah, yeah man. What is that, that thing you have on there? A little trout bobber. A trout bobber. So I don't have to yeah, find the line. I saw that. That's actually a pretty cool tip. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so you put your trout bobber on there so you don't have to tie it onto the reel. I'm really sorry. What? What's wrong? Did you just pass gas? Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you for not doing it in the truck. I really appreciate that. So here's the big deal for today. You got to experience white bass uh, schooling action, top water action yesterday. That was that was pretty decent. You had a big large mouth on. Whoops. Whoopsie is right. <laughs> uh, I definitely say you have the opportunity to break your PP out here today. Never caught a fish on Texas rig or a jig. And that's literally what me and Peric slayed them on last time here, just a few days ago. So okay. I think the opportunity is high for you to accomplish a lot of things. Definitely. Texas rig, jig, and PB today. We'll try to get it all in there. But we got a nice, beautiful morning. We got an echo here. Mondo! And it's time to go get them. Roger, you good? Yep. All right. Getting ready. I think Rob's ready. Always. All right, let's do it. My bags aren't going to fall off, right? They're heavy, right? Okay, gentlemen. You see these bushes that are on the bank? I want to give some focus to those. Nipples. Work it out to about six feet. Big mm -hmm. rocks and boulders all around this point. Thoughts and opinions? Yep. All right, Roger. Anyway, the point is, bushes right here, they've really been hanging around. There's tons of bluegill that live in them. Okay. So uh, Texas rig and a jig is really good. And I think spinnerbait, crankbait. It's, uh, right. If I had to three, choose three baits right now, it would be Texas rig, jig, and a, and a spinnerbait. That would be my top three. Okay. For shizzle. This is like men's warehouse. You're going to like the way you look here. Yeah, no, you can see the rocks up there. I don't see any shad spawning though. You need to check your line, Roger. Let me see your line. Like bad. every, you're okay right now, but you need a real craw? Yeah. <laughs> Things are just disorganized right now. You want something with a little action on the end? <laughs> yeah. I'm probably gonna go through a few of those today. You got it hooked up? Hooked up? Fish? First fish, is that on the Texas rig yeah. or the jig? First jig fish, oh! First jig fish. Get in there again. He was up pretty shallow, huh? Roger breaking breaking the ice here for us. Fish. <laughs> That's a better yeah, fish. There you go, bud. That's a good fish. <laughs> Had a boy, lookers. <laughs> oh man, I love it. You gotta oh love that. Gosh, that's, that's <laughs> Fighting hard. That's a good fish, man. A that's a good right three and a half pounder. Check that tail out, see what's going on. Kind of good, actually. That's a clean fish. Wow, that's a good looking fish. Clean. Ready? I'm ready. I didn't, you didn't take it the first time, so I'm gonna... Waiting on Roger to land his first jig fish. Dude, you missed another one? <laughs> Dude, he's, look, I bet you my, my pants are pulled down, I bet you. All right, Rod, you see this, this tree right here? Yeah, that's what I've been throwing. Try to get it towards the base of that tree oh. and, and drag it out from there. If you can get it, this is where that pitch is like really helpful because you can get it right under the object. Okay. And when you, get, when you get a thump, go ahead and rip its face off. Yeah. I'd make love to that second bush. Yeah, that's, this bush right here is for sure going to have fish in it. Oh, he's going deep. Oh, dang. Roger's going in. Get him! Fish? Oh, gosh, I saw it. Was it a fish? I saw it happening. Yeah. There he is. Got him. Is it a spot? <laughs> Whoa, it's a spot, yeah. Yeah. It's a spot. Come on, come on. Red eyes. Oh, it's a spot if it's got, yeah. red, eyes. It's got red eyes. Oh, yeah, I can see it from here. Okay, yeah. Feel the difference? Yeah. And his eyes are different. When they hit a bait, it's like... 
That's a decent looking jig right there. I'm gonna switch Roger up a little different color. Here's Lunker's jig. What what bass can resist, small or big, that finesse jig around rocks, bushes? It just ain't happening. It's like crack. This could be like anything. This could be a craw or a bluegill. That trailer is not as bulky. It's just got a light little action to it. So you're prone to get everything. Yeah. Got him. Spot. <laughs> That's what he just said. He said he felt the thump, thump, thump. Uh, go ahead and lower your rod tip and let a little bit of line out just so it'll go straight down. There's, that was a really good cast. There's like, I just got sucked up again on that bush. They're, You're excited, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, they're everywhere. I mean, this is, <laughs> we, we can catch 100 fish today. Good. Gosh, dude, he was just swimming with it. We got to double up with Roger here. Holy cow. Got mine in. First jig fish in the boat, baby! Awesome. There we go. That's pretty sweet. Awesome. Did you feel the thump or no? Just started swimming? Started swimming with it and then I, then I felt the you know, tension. Oh gosh, the spotted bass right there. Oh, I love that, dude. oh, you just lost it? Yeah. What happened? Is he your muscle? Yeah, I'm just like out of the... God dang. We gotta check our line pretty much every cast now. One of those crawls on there and go to town. Oh gosh. Right on the bank, yeah. Uh that's a white bass. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's like a flashback from yesterday's video. Ten of them together. Wow, that's a giant guard. Look, look in front of the boat. Oh my God, look. Oh wow, that look. is huge. That is a huge female gar. <laughs> Feels like a corn cob. Definitely want to dabble around these trees here. Dude, that is a... I mean, that's a fat one. What kind of snake is it? I don't know. Water snake? It looks kind of short, I can't tell. Give it a little, little nudge. Oh, it's not moving. Ooh. Oh, you, you get off the bank. About six to eight feet. You're going to get that right there. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, he broke me off. God. He just he just jumped. How big was it? <sighs> Check your lines, kids. Wow, we are burning through the jigs today. Main thing is, I guess you just wanna you wanna check it. You know, you just wanna do like a constant checking. Pitch it tight. Give it a dangle. What would you do for a Klondike bar right now? Hey! Better retie. I think that's an island right there. Let's check it out. Little bass. Definitely a crankbait situation going on here. There's one. If you've noticed that <laughs> there's a little bit of wind and waves now, the conditions have completely changed. A blue burger, high pressure, it's not conducive for getting bites right now. So we came to the windy side of the lake, got some good chunk rock, looks like some brush. If that doesn't work, then we are shot. I don't know what to do. These fish are not biting. We got some square bills tied on, we're gonna hit some rocks. Oh my God, no. Oh. 
Okay, oh, there's some wind. Hooked up, hooked up to us. Sandbag? I think so. Life. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Oh God! Ah! Oh. <laughs> there was like 14 of them. Where they at? <laughs> They're everywhere under the boat right now. <laughs> I was dangling it, literally. It was giving it a dangle. If I can't be king of largemouth, I'll I'll take the white bass title. I'm telling you right now, these fish have gone into retreat mode. Oh, you got a nice fish. Oh, God dang. Bass? Yeah. You know they love me. They're trying to eat my jig, man. Oh, what was a catfish? catfish yeah. Holy cow. You're probably like 30 minutes from a ramp. Did you get one? What? You got a white bass on a jig. That is the first. Look at that hungry thing. I'm pretty much known as the white bass slayer, but we just had a jig. That thing ate a jig. I've never seen that before. Interesting. First time. Well, that's the skinniest white bass I think I've seen in a long time. Bye. Yeah, it's a big goose. All right, guys, you ready to go? <laughs> if the trolling motor still works. Look at my jig, that's how hard I hit it. Oh. Sorry, R2. <laughs> the moral of the story behind that is don't try to cast a jig to the goose. Just want to go hang that up on the wall, just as like a memory of that moment. Yeah. Well, it wasn't exactly a barn burner. Of course, the white bass were biting. You know, I always catch white bass. Roger, did you enjoy yourself though? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was good? I had a great time with you guys. Okay, would you say that you would watch, be more inclined to watch more videos or less videos now from me and Rob? More. More? Yeah. Okay, good, you don't think we're Same crazy? Amount. <laughs> Same? Yeah. Okay, good, because you watch every single one then. Yeah. That's my boy right there. Well, you got your first jig fish. Yeah, the white bass jig. That's the first I've actually seen of that. And we had top water action yesterday, had them schooling. So you saw a lot yeah. of stuff you'd never seen before, which yeah. is cool. Learned a few more techniques that you can take back yep. to your local waters and catch fish on. A lot of pitching. So learn how to pitch, you got that down. Overall, I'd say you did pretty good, man. So you guys saw a little bit of of kind of May fishing starting to come about. You know what to do. Check us out in the comments down below if you want to get more info. Let the fishing freaks know. We're a whole community here. But well, we got to get in the truck now. We got to head back. The high pressure conditions. This fishing isn't going to get any better today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, you could be like Roger if we do another one of these contests. Come fishing with us for the weekend. All righty, fishing freaks. You know what to do. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. Hit the ding dongs for all the notifications. We'll see you.